with the rest of the montage. What about that for an intro, hey? Just call me Steven Spielberg from now on, it's fine. Speaking of Steven Spielberg, funnily enough, have you seen the movie AI? You're probably asking yourself, why is he asking this question? What has that got to do with the price of fish? Well, you'd be very surprised. See, in, back in 2017 with the original Epic, we saw the introduction of the fantastic jailbreak technology. If you're a fan of that, you'll be pleased to know it is still with us in 2019, however, it's got a partner in crime. Totally new face design. Yep. Uh, the first face that's ever been designed using artificial intelligence. It's pretty cool. Which is really <laughs> exciting. It's, it's totally yeah. unique, unlike any face we've ever seen in golf. Uh, basically, programming a supercomputer to learn and make decisions and come up with a design, a face design, uh, that's totally counterintuitive uh, with the sole purpose of, of creating more ball speed. Oh no, you heard right. AI. Artificial intelligence. Basically, a supercomputer is now designing our golf clubs. Forget about flying cars. Nobody cares. This is so much cooler. So this supercomputer goes through 15,000 face iterations before arriving at the flash face. If that made absolutely no sense to you whatsoever, don't worry. Al's here. I've got you covered. Imagine C-3PO has just been employed by the R&D department at Callaway Golf. His job is to sit at a chair and go through different club face designs to find the exact formula for extremely fast ball speeds. This random formula. So he's going to sit at this chair, go on a program that probably is the equivalent of a Tinder version of club faces, and swipes through... But whilst he's doing this, he's like, no, 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 no. He's learning and these club face designs are getting better. So he gets the 15,000th club face iteration design and he goes, oh, yes, and swipes to the direction. We end up with flash face. The really cool part for me was hearing about the usual process, which would have been eight to 10 face iterations before arriving at a club face. Eight to 10. 15,000, what a difference. That could only be a good thing, and it's only something a supercomputer could do. Callaway saying th the pattern's that random, a human would not have even thought about it. Um, never mind, imagine a human going through 15,000 face designs in the first place. He'd still be there in 2075 saying, I finished. And everyone's like, yeah, great, mate. We don't even use golf clubs anymore. We're using lightsabers, and by the way, you're fired. If you took this flash face out of, a, out of the driver and put it in a standard driver without jailbreak, it wouldn't work. This is designed specifically to work as a team with the jailbreak technology. Pretty cool. So I first saw the Epic Flash at the Callaway Performance Center in Carlsbad, California. Name drop. And I've got to say, I was like, whoa, <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what you guys think, I'm really interested to know, so comment below. Do you like the colours? Do you like the design? If you don't like the design from this shelf appeal, you'll be pleased to know that at address it is traditional Callaway. Mm. And for the shaft enthusiasts, we've got three premium options available this year. So we've got the Evenflow, we've got the Hazardous Smoke, and we've also got the Tenzai AV. I'm not using any of those because one's a reg, one's a stiff and we haven't got the Tenzai, so we've got this custom shaft from the Epic. It's a Tor AD Graphite Design TP7 X-Flex. The only problem with this is my back is extremely sore, so club head speed could be way down today. Ow. Get through it. It's going to fly. <laughs> it's done very well. I'd never argue with that ball flight. You can, I don't know whether, because I know the story now, I'm just waiting to see what it feels like out of the middle. But around that area, it seems to feel very soft. It feels lovely. It feels really nice. Ooh, 
we'll see by the toe. Again, terrible strike, but basically hold it, nearly. <laughs> so there'll be a lot of you that will want to see this against the Rogue or this against the original Epic. We will do a head-to-head -head comparison because it's only fair that we do it on the day. You can't compare review with review. The Epic review, I was in a different place uh, in my life, just trying to hit things as hard as possible. But now I'm trying to rein it in and actually try and play golf. bit out the heel, hence the left to right. Still flying. I'll just hit the flag, it's gone, it's gone backwards. The wrong flag, that's usually the case. It's usually the wrong green, but the wrong flag this time. Great. If you want to know where the sliding weight is on the back of this, it's in the neutral position. I have not changed it. That was bottom. But it's cutting, I think. It's still flying very well. I'm not feeling 100% by any means. Um, it's flying very well. <laughs> very well indeed. Just at the right. Cannot get through it today. It's extremely consistent, which is what I want more than any driver. Um, Different strikes on different locations of the phase, but it's consistent. When I first heard about the story of this flash phase, I thought the middle of the, the phase was going to be a lot quicker and around the miss hits, it was going to drop off a lot, but it doesn't look like that's happening. I've saved that with the hands. Could be pretty close. Yeah. Look at that, three. Three puts for eagle. Well, if, the, if there is a short par, par four, three puts for eagle. Okay, so we're looking at def definitely different numbers to what we'd usually see, but very good in its own way. So it seems to be very efficient. Club head speed's way down, which is not anything to do with the driver. I mean, the shaft is actually 80 gram. I think it's 80 gram plus. So it's quite heavy. And also the lower back is extremely sore. So. It's not a great combination to do a review with, but I had no choice. Club speed speed's 120, so it's down, but it's not down and out. Ball speed has not really dropped that much. It's at 175, which is pretty impressive. For where I thought I'd hit the club face, it was some toe, some heel, not ideal, but um, all around, the, uh, around a similar area. Spin 2565, which is sensible backspin for myself. I'd like to go lower, but I know if I do that, public barbecues will probably come more into play. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with this driver. I say that a lot, but it's a typical Callaway driver, if you ask me. It's enough to be new, great innovation with the face, but if you're a Callaway fan, you're gonna get excited about this. It's as simple as that. If you're not a Callaway fan, hit it anyway it's worth a hit the feel the sound it feels excellent and i'm really interested to see how it performs on the same day with the same shaft with an epic and a rogue head we're gonna to have to visit that at some point thank you guys for watching as always give us a call on 1-800-652-211 email me if you need any more information and of course subscribe thank you i'm here with the fantastic evan who is the head of woods at callaway golf evan thank you for being yeah, with us thanks for having really me. appreciate it uh, this is the first time I've seen this beauty. Yeah. And a beauty what do you she think? is. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Good job.